Okay, this is week 15 of Unfiltered. Um, I've been thinking of stopping these videos because when I make them, I'm always in a really bad mood. Um, but instead, what I think I'll do is I'll do them on Saturdays instead of Sunday night because on Sunday night I'm stressed about I'm stressed out about going to work. So yay improvement. Maybe I'll be in a better mood when I make my videos. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's an example of improving your life, right? Okay. So um, this week I want to talk about. For the first time, I feel like I'm having free time on weekends. So what I've been doing is um, before, uh, so I stopped my business on the weekends. So I'm no longer doing side jobs on my weekends. And before, I used to have, um, I used to want to do portfolio work and personal work on the weekends. And now basically, I'm staying late after work um, on my weekdays to do that. So I'm condensing all my professional and personal work on at the same time, okay? So what that means is on the weekends, um, you know, I, I'm now ha having a relaxed time, and that's really important. You know, Tony Schwartz talks about that in his book, Productive Performance, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's really different because usually on weekends, I work harder than my weekdays. That's how it's always been since I was a little kid. I've always done my homework you know, Chinese school, piano, all the homework on the weekends, way more than weekday homework, you know, it's always been harder. And now it's, it's kind of cool because last week I went to Universal with friends, I hung out with my friends Mike and Shu from New York, and it's kind of interesting because usually when I hang out with friends, it's like, all right, let's get it done, okay, gotta go. And it's just a level of stress because I have homework to do at home, you know. I, I make time with my friends, but it's not like I have that breathing room. I'm used to like just just to 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 just segmenting everything, and now I'm just have this like free time. And I think that's definitely what I want to do. I think it'd be better for you. Okay, started this new thing working with this new guy, Theron. He he's um we're doing some concept art together. It's harder than it looks, but um keeps me on my toes. Basically, uh, we're doing, I'm doing some more personal theme park work. I'll be showing you guys. Um, oh, you know what's like really freaking cool? Um, I connected with this guy that's Walt Disney Imagineer on LinkedIn. That's my friend who's also Imagineer knows him. And what was really cool was after I sent him the email, I had this big motivation to update my portfolio website and everything. Because, you know, I sent him my, my website. And once I did that, you know, something I've been meaning to do for a long time, I'm like, okay, all of a sudden I have this motivation, update my website, update my blog, you know. And I realized that's something I've been really wanting to do. Like, I've been trying this new thing where I'm trying to be bored. So when that spark of motivation, motiv momentum, you know, sometimes you have this, like, this momentum, and you can't act on it because you're busy, your plate is full at the moment. But if you have this level of boredom, and all of a sudden... Oh, you want to work out. Oh, you have inspiration. Oh, and you can act on that inspiration. And when I was updating my portfolio website, I was using this motivation to ride the work. And it, it felt like it was less effort. You know, I, I, was, I did it really well. I was really happy with that. I want to make a, bon uh, a video about motivation and momentum and stuff. But um, I haven't been doing any good Project Life Coach videos recently. Um... Okay, da 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 da, and then um, I'm going to be going to Pittsburgh next week, Carnegie Mellon, doing a talk. Um, I think that'll be cool. Trying to rack up some interest in that. I went to Universal. Uh, uh, my parents want to do a vacation in Taiwan um, in October, and I've been having mixed feelings because yes, I do want to have fun, relax. I do want to hang out with parents, but at the same time, I'm at this job, and I really want to be at this job because I feel like I'm learning a lot. Um, I feel like, oh, what if I leave my fear? I think it's the worst thing that can happen is I leave, they find someone else to replace me, I'm no longer needed, you know? And of course, uh, I kind of feel disposable, but at the same time, maybe it's good, it's just a fear. Maybe it's good, you know, let's say, if the worst did happen and I did get released, maybe I can find another company or whatever, you know? Um, ideally, I would still go back, but you know, whatever. Um, 
Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay.